Welcome to the Jackie Griffin Show. Um, my co-host, um, Darnell Lee, is out of town on business, so I'll be doing the show by my lonesome today, but I'm really excited to be here once again. We have some fabulous guests lined up today, and I'm joined on set right now with Mrs. Letty Centron Patterson, and she's in charge of, uh, we'll be featuring the Patterson Project, featuring Jessica Corbin. Letty, yes. welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Uh, and can you tell us a little bit about yourself, about your background? And sure. I was in the military some many years ago. I uh, came out of the military, finished my degree in business management, and went on to do uh, program management. I'm currently a program manager for a large clinical research organization, and I manage uh, several programs for large pharmaceutical companies. Uh, in those programs, some of them are patient assistance programs, and some are reimbursement programs. We help get patients access to medications that they need. Some of the programs are for people who would not normally be able to afford their medications. And then some of them are people who just don't understand some of the new health care changes, the reforms. And it helps them understand how they can get access to those medications and get those paid for by the payers who say that they're going to pay for those medications for them. Awesome. Um, outside of that, I am huge, a huge um, component of nonprofit um, organizations and trying to assist some of them. So I've worked with a large number of them, um, some of the bigger ones, but most recently I onboarded uh, something called the A's, B's, and 3's. Mm -hmm. And this is a celebrity basketball game where we bring some celebrities into the inner city. We've done it here in Baltimore and in Salisbury, Maryland. Um, most of the time, if you tell me, you want to do something for a good cause, mm -hmm. I will help you figure out how to make it happen. That's awesome. That's awesome. So tell us a little bit about the Patterson Project. The Patterson Project came on board. Um, we, Jessica Corbin has been doing a lot of things on her own. She does a lot of designs with Swarovski crystals. Mm -hmm. She has a lot of things that she rolled out on her own. But then she came to me because her father is a veteran, and she has um, worked with a lot of veterans who have suffered from mental illness trying to you know get reacclimated to their environment and she had a strong passion associated with that and in addition to that she had a lot of questions regarding pictures a lot of people always asked her to take pictures mm -hmm. she asked me because she knows that I've managed a few projects and I said well why don't you do this on your own if this is your passion if this is what you want to do if this which is th if this is truly what you want to support let's make it happen mm -hmm. So we came up with the Patterson Project, um, onboarded George Patterson, the photographer, and Jessica as a model, which she'll tell you she's not very comfortable doing that. <laughs> but a lot of people constantly ask her to do it, mm -hmm. to support their cause. Correct. If this is what you're passionate about, make it happen for yourself. And so I am one of those people behind the scenes, or try to be behind the scenes <laughs> as much as possible, to ensure that all the pieces fit together and we actually get to the finish line. And, and, you know, we don't necessarily say how much we'll make for this or what we'll be able to do. It's whatever we can do. A portion of those proceeds will go to support these causes. Awesome, awesome. So what do you do when you're not doing everything? <laughs> That's, it, it was funny because somebody asked, well, what do you do? I said, I think it's easier to ask me what I don't do. Uh -huh. And so, but when I'm not doing that, I have four beautiful little girls. Wow. And they take up the majority of my time. I try to you know, instill some of these things that I do um, in their daily lives. They help me put together some of these projects because most of the ones that I do heavily involve children. Okay. This is going to be one of our first projects that will actually support adults, which mm -hmm. um, because I was in the military, it was true to my heart as well. Right. And I understand some of the challenges that you have when you're being taken out of your norm yes. put into a situation and then you're having to come back and readjust the life. Yes. For some people it's just not that easy. Nope. And so mm -hmm. when she came to me, I thought, let's do it. Right. If you want to do this, then I will support you in this. That's and awesome. so um, that's where it all came up. She's, 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 she gets a little shy sometimes, but she'll, she'll come around. So how old are your babies? My children, I have a lovely, sassy three-year-old. Mm -hmm a very, very unique and artistic six-year-old, mm -hmm. a amazingly brilliant seven-year-old, mm -hmm. and, a, and a very, very um, 
introverted, but she's getting around there, 14 year olds. <laughs> so she's getting there. You have all the ages, yes, yes. Oh yes, and it definitely spans across each of those challenging years. I bet, because I, I have two daughters, and I used to always say, Lord, what were you doing when you gave me two girls? I mean, all these hormones flowing, and you know, my son Hair. was the youngest. Mm -hmm. Hair. So he was pretty easy, but the girls, it's never a dull moment. Oh, and, and that's definitely true. I, I am fortunate enough to have um, a wonderful husband and my mother there to help me, and she supports these programs and projects with me. That's always key. You right. know, you have that family dynamic. If you have that, mm -hmm. then we can go out there and do more for other people who don't have some of these situations exactly. in play. You know, especially in places like Washington, D.C., some of the inner city. I come from inner city, Jersey City, New Jersey. That was rough back then, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. you know, I, I am proud to say not only was I there because it made me who I am, right. but I came out of it. Mm -hmm. And I'm a true component. If I can do it, anyone can do it. That is awesome. And I'm so impressed with the fact that you're a veteran. How many years did you join the military? I was only in for five. That's okay. Um, but I come from a long family of veterans. My father was in for almost, uh, I want to say he was 12 years. Mm -hmm. My sister was in for over 10 years, I know that. Mm -hmm. um, and she was um, a lieutenant in the Army. So it was, okay. she, she definitely did her, her times in there. You so. all did. And I, don't care if you, I always tell people, I don't care if you did one day, thank <laughs> you for your service. It was, it was, it was a challenge. 